All right, this is uh, Nick's MPCNC Primo build, and this is some pre-work. I got a little bored because it was going to take a while to get my conduit, um, my one-inch conduit from Metals Depot. Uh, so I got all my printing done on Thursday, and I thought I'd take, uh, take a moment and go through all the directions from back to stern, and or from front to stern, and see if there was anything I could do. So I decided I was going to take the trucks first and mount all of the uh, bearings, just so they're they're kind of loose in there. And that way they I wouldn't lose the parts. I knew where they all were. And uh, in this case, I wanted to do the parts on the on the uh, a massive uh, core, which is uh, really neat. Uh, I did the 70% all the way through, and it took quite a while to print this boy up, but uh, it is cool. Uh, I'm going for minion colors. So I've got uh, one block built up. Um, this will this will sit sit on there. So he's yellow on the top, blue all the way through to black feet. And I ran out of the light blue there, so I got a whole bunch of the. This is Amazon's uh, suggested blue right now. So it's a no name brand, uh, but it's really nice, really bright and vibrant. So the blue's bright, the yellow's bright. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, other than that, um, FedEx decided to deliver one of my two pre-cut Metals Depot jobs early. So today, I actually got to try the piping. And when you get this, uh, I'm doing a three foot by four foot um, area to give me a two foot by three foot build area, which is just perfect for me and the signs that I make for scouts and stuff. And normally what you'll get is you'll get two shorter lengths the same size and one just a little bit shorter and if you've built the 525 before you're going to go what i thought there was three each and there used to be but with the burley they started doing the outer rails uh one length that's a little longer and the one that goes for the gantry is a little shorter so here i've got the outer gantry for my x these are a little longer but the same size and uh, one little shorter one that's going to go on the cross arm for the gantry same with the y two shorter pieces and a longer or, uh, or two um, longer pieces and a shorter piece this is the 0 0.085 thickness so it's in between the two settings that Ryan specked out he specked out uh, a wall thickness of 0 0.065 to uh, 0 0.120 uh, metal steeple happened to have an in-between so I thought I'd just kind of split the hairs and and uh, go with it all of my pipes are exactly the size I wanted to, plus or minus a millimeter, which for these lakes here, uh, doesn't matter, honestly. They could be uh, two or three millimeters off from each other and still be just fine because it just means they won't go all the way through the tube. You know, they'll either stick out a little bit or they'll come a little shy. The critical ones are these guys here, the height. You want the height to match and you want the Z to match. Um, otherwise you could have some interference with the parts and or your pipes won't be true and level to the table but that's kind of what i did so if you're kind of in the same spot i am uh it's okay to put some of the stuff together and leave it loose uh and get it to uh tell you can um get your piping and i know the piping right now metals uh take a while this one here is an example of a truck and you can see it holds everything in three directions so you got a nice little triangle there the one on top there, uh, that is kind of a special deal uh, because you can tighten these two bolts there on top a little tighter uh, if you have any variance of this not holding onto your pipe, which will cause these bottom ones here, and excuse the app, uh, it'll cause these two bottom ones here to kind of squeeze together a little bit, and that'll help cinch it up and, and bring the whole assembly up so the pipe fits. Well, I took my short pipe here and it fit, let's bring this through the camera. There you go, I'm gonna grab it real fast. It fits really nice without anything tight. So uh, it goes back and forth real smooth. All the bearings are engaged. Uh, there's no lateral movement whatsoever. Everything's just along the axial. Um, and if you look really close at the bearings, they got a little run through them. You see the little uh, grease coming off the pipe, and it is even 
on all three bearing sets. So um, this runs really, really well and smooth. It doesn't bind. Uh, this is very heavy pipe, so I'm really excited to see how stiff this whole um, assembly is. But the next step does require that I have the legs. And to give you an idea of where the first critical bit is, that's your feet. So the foot here and the foot that goes over here in front, um, those aren't too critical. Believe it or not, um, you just want them to fit your pipe. Uh, so you build up a little tower, make sure everything's level. But uh, where they sit, uh, left or right or up or down, uh, that's going to set where your design's going to be. So I'm going to use it right on the edge here. I'm just going to put a piece of board up against the edge and make sure it's right on the edge. And I'm going to screw these down hard. I could do that right now and not have any problems. Uh, and then do the same over here. Take it to the edge of my pegboard, uh, my old spoil board, and screw them right down. As long as they fit along here, then the backside should also fit along the backside. Where it gets critical, and where you have to really watch what you're doing if you want your build to go well, is when I put those back feet in, I am going to want to continually do diagonal measurements. Not so much worry that this is a right angle here. Don't worry like getting a right angle in here, trying to make that perfectly perpendicular. Uh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Don't do that. Measure the diagonal from place to place. If you want, um, if you put up, a, put up your pipe, you can measure it from uh, the outer edge of your pipe here or the inner edge. Doesn't matter, as long as it's the same place of both. And make sure the two diagonals together are no more than a millimeters different from each other. And that's gonna help keep you square. Uh, then your right angles will just come into place. You can't get a parallelogram uh, if both your diagonals are identical. Um, and then, that, then your auto squaring will be a lot easier. In fact, you could probably get away without having the, um, the auto alignment um, package installed. I'm still going to do it because my control box for my old CNC is already set up for it. So I don't have to worry about it. For wiring, I am going to use this 4 conductor 20 two gauge alarm wire. It is a little bit thicker than the gauge that most of the stepper motors come with. So it should be plenty fine there. And it never gave me problems for two and a half years on my old CNC, uh, MPC C that is. So I'm not too worried about it. But that's what I'm using for all of my cords. I'm just gonna reuse those. I am using a full Rambo, which means I'm gonna have one driver per motor. So there won't be any series or parallel wiring. This is the one piece of the kit that I won't be using uh, here because uh, I've got my own. And it'll all run through the pipe, so I've got to go through and deburr all this. Uh, that's the one thing they didn't do. So I'll go through and deburr it. And then my little outriggers here that hold the um, uh, cable chain, that like, old cable chain there that was designed to fit, so I'll reuse that. I have not come up with a good way to mount the cable chain onto this guy yet. I'll do that after I build him up and I'll start to design some of my own stuff that fits my color scheme and of course oh really and then of course the tool mount and the dust shoe so I've got um, both the DeWalt uh, 660 I made my own magnetic dust shoe some of you may have actually used this particular design but I'm a I'm a freak for these neodymium magnets and uh, then I've got my spindle down there and a little farther down there that's probably disappeared I've got a brand new 800 watt air cooled spindle. So yeah, ah, that's all I've got so far. Um, after tomorrow, when I get off work, I will start putting on the feet and we'll start working on getting things square. See you guys then.